What's up everybody? It's your boy Black Dynamite bringing you a special tutorial uh, with a program called XBMC uh, showing you guys how to add your ROM collection to this program and that way you can use this program as a front end uh, for all your emulating emulation games and everything like that. Uh, first, you know, you definitely want to go ahead and have the program called XBMC. Go ahead and check it out here. Then first thing you want to go ahead and do, go to your settings and go to add-ons and then go to get add-ons and just hit all add-ons and look for a program called, or we'll go to the actual program add-on, sorry. And then go to a program called ROM Collection Browser, which is right here. And then you want to go ahead and download that. I already have mine enabled because I have the program already. So you want to go ahead and click that and uh, install it and enable it. Then you want to go back. Go to your programs, go down to ROM collection browser. Okay, if you don't have any ROMs installed in already, it's going to say, do you want to add ROMs? Say yes. And uh, you can start adding your ROMs like that. I'm going to give you a reference guide to use uh, for your ROMs. Check it out right here. It's a advanced launcher uh, wiki page. And it shows you all the games and all the settings you need for each of those uh, systems. So go ahead and check it out depending on which one you're installing. Today I'm going to be showing you an example by installing the uh, Nintendo 64 ROMs here. One second. So I'm going to go ahead and, because I already have games installed already. So you want to go ahead and go to Add ROM Collection. And then you want to hit Scrape Game Info and Artwork Online because it's going to give you the artwork and everything for most games. The only games I noticed that it won't scrape the games for is uh, Pokemon games because uh, I guess it's like a you know a license thing. I guess you can't get the actual Pokemon games. So click that. I'm going to go to Nintendo 64. There we go. And then I'm gonna go to my folder, wherever your folder is, go to that. You want to click on the program first. There you go. And then it's going to ask you the parameters. The parameters for this one is default by ROM for the 64 one, but it can be different depending on which uh, system you're applying to. And once again, just use the reference guides for the advanced launcher wiki page that I showed you earlier. Then you want to go to your ROMs folder, wherever that's located, wherever your game ROMs are located for each system. Go to that folder. And you click OK. And then it's going to ask you the parameters uh, for your ROMs here. And you're going to once again go to that, that wiki page to actually look at which ROMs apply to what. Okay, so I know the, what ROM extensions apply for the N64 uh, emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and click next once I type it in. Click enter. And then the artwork, you want to find the folder you want to apply your artwork to. And it's going to download the artwork to that folder automatically. I already have an artwork folder of a game of the 
<clears throat> of the artwork for the N64 emulator here. So I'm just gonna go back to that folder that I know I have it in and then click OK. And then it's gonna ask you, you wanna add another ROM collection. If you have more than one emulator, you wanna go ahead and hit yes and then just you know apply the settings based on the wiki page that I applied for you. I don't have any other ROM emulate, uh, collections to add, so I'm gonna click no. Okay, so next is gonna ask you to scrape the games. Uh, I normally just go ahead and scrape the games accurate. Uh, for the most part, it'll get most of the, the artwork for you. Uh, sometimes you have to do, um, let me show you here. Sometimes you have to do the guest match or select matches. Select matches is the best one to do if you have time to you know select each individual game to make sure you get the right artwork. Uh, but first you wanna definitely scrape it with accurate and then whichever ones don't scrape, you wanna go back into that game, which I'll show you how to do that next. Go back to that game and then select interactive. All right, so right now we're gonna do accurate and then hit import games. It's gonna import all the games here. All right, now that we're done adding all of our ROMs, <clears throat> you can actually filter them out here. Let's show you, let me show you here. Like you can go to platform, let's go to Nintendo 64, hit enter. It filters out all your games, like depending on the actual system. Like for instance, we don't have the artwork for this game. I'm gonna show you how to rescrape that. So you just want to go through all your games and make sure they scrape, you know, most of the artwork, which most of the time it does. Uh, I'm going to try to rescrape this one here. So what you want to do is hit <clears throat> C on your keyboard and it'll bring up the context menu. Then you want to go to rescrape game. And you want to click interactive, select matches, import games. And then see it, it's pulling up a different name title there. So you want to click that the name title it actually matches with. Okay, let's see if it rescrapes it or not. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Let's see if it does it here. Let's see if it rescraped it. See, it did rescrape it. So, like for example, that that game wouldn't rescrape because it. it the names were conflicting with each other at first, but once you rescrape it with uh, um, the interactive uh, selection, then it will actually scrape the uh, the artwork for that game. All right, well, I mean, this is a basic breakdown of how to use this program uh, and how to scrape the games with the ROM collection browser. Uh, if you have any further questions, I think I explained it uh, pretty, pretty clear. Um, once again, it's your boy, Black Dynamite. Like, share the video. Then tell me what you think as well. Peace out.